Hello, my name is Sean and I'm here to talk about wastewater treatment through the process of aeration. What is wastewater? Wastewater is used water that contains harmful contaminants that are unsafe for human consumption. Now, why is it important to treat wastewater? Only 0.5% of the world's water is considered to be drinkable, and water is a necessity for sustaining human life, as well as all life on Earth. Now, the aeration process allows us to treat harmful contaminants and remove uh, suspended solids from water. Sensorex.com defines two main types of aeration processes. The first being fixed film systems, which are comprised of a large porous material made of ceramic, wood, or plastic that allows uh, the uh, growth of microorganisms that help to clean the contaminants from water uh, the porous material of which allows water to pass through and make contact with these microorganisms. Moving bed bioreactor systems, however, utilize thousands of pieces of small plastic known as media with similar porous uh, features to them that allow water to pass through and make contact with microorganisms growing on these pieces. Both systems have benefits and drawbacks to them. Now, the, the benefits of a fixed film system is that it is easy to maintain and uh, is still efficient at getting rid of contaminants. The drawbacks of which it's not very space efficient and due to the process sometimes can require additional treatment. As well, the efficiency of the system is directly correlated to energy consumption. An MBDR system, however, has flexible design and can be customized to meet a variety of projects based on the size uh, restrictions and types of influent being treated. Drawbacks include uh, an expensive upfront cost, which in the long run uh, doesn't end up uh, being as significant considering the uh, majority of expense uh, towards operation of these systems uh, comes from energy consumption, which can be greatly reduced uh, by the uh, lower maintenance and uh, and energy consumption required to uh, circulate media throughout the water. Now, what is an MBBR system comprised of? An MBBR system generally is comprised of a blower and an aeration grid. The blower supplies oxygen to the aeration grid, which through a series of diffusers linked to pipes um, with small preparations in them, release water into the, uh, the tank, circulating the media through the water, allowing uh, the contaminants to make contact with the microorganisms and remove contaminants. The microorganisms grow on the small pieces of MBBR that float inside the tank, the structure of which allows um, maximum growth of these cultures of uh, microorganisms to grow while still allowing water to pass through. Oxygen is supplied to the tank through a series of diffusers with small perforations of varying sizes depending on the project's needs, um, varying from fine to more coarse bubble depending on whether stand, um, uh, oxygen transfer is more significant or the actual mixing of the uh, influent. Once the water has been treated, it is then released back into the waterways for regular human consumption. There are many uh, different applications uh, for MBBR systems uh, practically in the world today, such as pulp and paper factories, chemical manufacturers, textile factories, and so on. In conclusion, uh, there are many benefits to utilizing an MVBR system. They're incredibly customizable and utilize uh, a lower environmental impact, uh, which is a growing concern uh, for the world today.